Hello, good, e- good evening to all the women only, only the women. You idiots do realize that Trump can't just go bibbity bobbity fing boop and change gas prices. He can't go bibbity bobbity fing boop and change grocery prices. Your life is going to get worse, not better. Thank you, stupid people! What do you say to a MAGA supporter in a three piece suit? Will the defendant please rise? What hurts the most is that I truly had hope. Like, I, I, I really, really thought Kamala would win. And to slowly watch that map all night turn more red. I'm just so empty. I'm so empty and I don't get how the men aren't. Or the other white people are. I'm so sorry on behalf of the actions of other white people. Who just spew this hate. And that we couldn't do enough. That my vote wasn't enough for everyone else. That my vote wasn't enough for us, for women. I just truly feel like everything is not real right now. And the the only thing holding me together is all the other women in my life and those online that are experiencing the same reality. Cause again, it feels like no one else is. Honestly, I'm so sick and tired of this. I think that we need to be meaner. A lot of progressive people have been playing this game of like, we are morally better than these people. We're not gonna stoop down to their level of bullying, but we need to. If you voted for Donald Trump, you are a bad person. This is not about policy. People who voted for Kamala Harris are smarter than you. They're more empathetic than you. They have more compassion than you. Being so for real, if you voted for Donald Trump, don't speak to me. Don't speak to me because I don't have capacity for you in my life. I don't have space for you in my life because now I have to worry about my rights and my friends' rights and all these other rights for other marginalized communities, all these communities that aren't white, straight, white men for at least the next four years, if not longer than that. White women are the f***ing problem. They embolden the problem. They marry the problem. They birth the problem. They're lazy as f*** and they play victim about the goddamn problems that they're participating in. I don't know one happy white woman in one of my families. I only know white women that are either alone because men f***ed them over and ruined their goddamn livelihoods and drove them insane, or they settled because they wanted their f***ing retirements and they decided, hey, I might as well let this f***ing piss ant live next to me. White women will sell out their daughters, sell out their children. They will quite literally do anything as long as they get picked, as long as they're not the ones getting beat on. Because what do we know about toxic white family when they're not going after marginalized groups and poor people they're beating the f-ing sh- out of white girls in the family especially if you're a free thinker god forbid you're pretty okay or got a brain oh my god you're getting your ass f-ing beat down i've watched white women in my family show up for my crackhead cousin who's been to jail a dozen times and put money on her books and celebrate her because she's selling herself short and being a f-ing nobody when i graduated college not one of my f-ing aunts or mothers or any of those things was there to support me. Nah. You want to know why? Because they didn't, they didn't like it when I got smarter and I got more intelligent and I could empower myself. Because white women are just a tool for abusive white men to stay in power. I won't do business with people who support the president-elect. And it is because I need to create a safe place for me, my staff, and my family. If you voted for Trump... I don't want to hear you complain about any prices or inflation or taxes for the next four years because you voted for this. And you may not realize that you f***ed yourself over, but you will. I'm not sad. I'm f***ing pissed at how many people in this country actually hate women. And as a white woman, I am embarrassed to potentially be mistaken for one of the 53% of us who actually voted for a It wasn't about Donald Trump. It was about women and how high we set the bar for women in this country while the bar is on the floor for men. There will never be a woman good enough and there will never be a man bad enough because one would think that not a rapist would be a reasonable request. By the way, if I know that you are a Trump supporter and you own your own business, I know how to list that shit and I know where to list it to boycott your business from seeing anything. You don't f*** around, now you're gonna find the f*** out. Who else has men in their life that are maybe just acting a little too calm right now? That may have voted for Kamala, may have the same views, but are just a little too level-headed. I cannot believe any person who is not a millionaire would vote for that man. Like, if you're a millionaire, I get it. I'm not saying it's the right thing to do, but I get it. You want to conserve, preserve, and get more wealth because you're selfish. When you're a poor person... Why would you vote for somebody like him? If you're a woman, 
Why would you vote for somebody like him? I don't give a f what demographic you are. Voting for somebody like him, it just says a lot about you as a human. You have to either really like the cruelty or really like the racism, but don't f act like it's the economy. Two years were Obama's economy and the other two were a f***ing pandemic. Read a book. Told you so. We told you so. We told you so. Just about everything. Everything that's about to happen, we told you so. We were like, hey, it's going to be bad. If he comes back, he's back. It's already getting bad. We told you so. We spent months telling you so. Over and over and over again. I'm trying so hard to pull it together because I have to go into work. And I don't want any of the kids to know how scared I am. How am I supposed to go in there and tell them to embrace who they truly are, to support people, to love people, to care about people, to believe that they can do anything when tonight proved that that's not a reality. Well, it's been rough. It was not what I was expecting at all, considering some of the rhetoric he has said. I thought we as a nation were smarter, but I guess not. To my transgender and friends and, you know, the people who it, it affects, as long as you stay alive, they cannot say we don't exist. Being a Satanist means rebelling against them because they're wrong. And as long as you draw breath, every breath you take is a rebellion. Keep on fighting because you just have to. Hail Satan, hail reason always. Dude, just because no rights are being taken from you doesn't mean other people aren't losing their rights. Why don't you look at Project 2025 and actually see what you voted for? Thanks. Y'all on the right over there, you do not give two sh how anybody else is treated except for yourself. And when you finally get a dose of some of your own f***ing behavior, you can't f***ing handle it. And I think it's f***ing hilarious. It is required of Trump voters, if they still want to retain their families and friends, is to make themselves forgivable, not to make us more forgiving. You voted for Trump because you don't want men in women's bathrooms assaulting your wives and daughters. But it's your side that's screaming your body, my choice. I hate it here. We live in a country that hates women. We can't pretend anymore. What are we doing? To have to watch Joe Biden in the White House shake that man's hand and treat him with dignity and respect as if he has earned that after calling us liberals the enemy within, Joe Biden shook his hand, smiled, treated him with kindness. That was infuriating. If you are a liberal woman in a red state who did not vote for this and you've been thinking about getting a divorce, do it. Do it now. Do not wait. If you are a conservative woman who did vote for this, rot in it. I think what's been proven over the last couple weeks is that rich, white, arrogant men continue somehow to beat their more competent, talented black opponents. This is not about conservative versus liberal. And I'm sorry you can't get that through your thin little skulls. I would say thick, but let's face it, you're not working with very much. So I'll just say it so you can understand me. If you supported Donald Trump through all of this, you're a terrible human being. You allies? You, you people who say you really care about this shit, you need to do better. And I'm sorry, I'm so aggressive about it right now. I just had to go up against my mother, my mom. You people are so deep in your victimization. You can't get it. I'm not raising my kids in this world. I do not want my kids to experience this shit. I refuse. 
I will see a different world and I will see a liberated world. I've literally broken up with a man because he voted for Trump and you can too. It's very easy. Say bye. Toodaloo. Sayonara. Bitch. And here's the thing. Any man that's like, oh, that makes sense. You're going to die alone. Da da da. I'm getting married in 11 days, bitch, to a woman. You see that shit? You couldn't afford this ring, even if you tried. If you could point to one piece of evidence to convince me that the public school system has failed this country, it's the re-election of Donald Trump. We are a nation of uneducated, hate-filled people. 21% of U.S. American adults cannot read, and most of them voted for Donald Trump.